Well, it's a great pleasure to be here this afternoon to tell you a little bit about Invisia Therapeutics. Bear with me as I go through a whole bunch of slides in five minutes. So real quick about Invisia, we spun out of Liquidia Technologies in late 2013, and we raised $25 million to kick it off. We were supported by, uh, led by Canon NEA. And since that time, we've really met some important corporate milestones. We filed our first IND for a long-lasting prostaglandin for treating glaucoma. That phase 2A trial is underway. Um, we've also brought our second program into development. That's ENV905 for post-cataract inflammation. We've been working diligently also on back-of-the-eye formulations for both biologics and small molecules. And importantly, we've added some great new board members with a, a lot of broad expertise in ophthalmology, Adrian Graves and Gary Phillips. And I can also say uh, this week that we added Rhett Schiffman as our Chief Medical Officer and Senior Vice President of Development. So a lot of great progress here. Uh, moving uh, this pipeline forward uh, in rapid fashion, you can see that our Phase 2A glaucoma project is going to read out uh, that, that trial readout in mid-year and then rotate into a 2B trial to be longer and uh, bigger. Our post-operative uh, inflammation program is starting a year later, but it's going to kind of rapidly catch up in development because it goes a lot faster. And then in terms of partnerships in the back of the hour, working on some early stage feasibility studies will hopefully translate into some meaningful licenses and some product development opportunities. So real quick about print, some of you have already seen this before, but for those of you who haven't, it's essentially a particle molding technology, manufacturing technology that allows us to take patterns etched on a silicon wafer and turn that into essentially like a, an ice cube tray, that green material you see in the top middle. We can fill that mold with virtually any substance, drug, polymer, mixtures thereof, and we can turn that into totally new dosage forms. We can create particles that are on the order of 55 nanometers up to several millimeters, and we've industrialized this and scaled it up, and we can make clinical trial material on site. This is what some of these new dosage forms look like in a real quick collage. You see prostaglandins, steroids, even uh, highly concentrated microparticles of full-length antibodies like bevacizumab. We can also blend these with sustained release polymers to afford multi-month release profiles. And we can even deal with very fragile cargo like uh, RNA and nucleic acids. So our first program in development is ENV905. It's an intracameral Travipros biodegradable formulation. And our target product profile is essentially 24-7 control of IOP at a 25 to 30% uh, reduction, six months duration, and less hyperemia than topical drops because we're bypassing the conjunctiva. Easy administration through a custom injector you see down below, and importantly, fully biodegradable. And the way we're dose ranging in the clinic is to develop, we've developed two different sizes, and we can iterate in between these so that we can do multiples of each and get a full dose range clinically. What this looks like uh, preclinically, we studied this in uh, hypertensive beagles. You see in the purple line a rapid drop in IOP that's maintained in this case for eight months from a single dose. So really strong efficacy in beagles. You can see on the left-hand side what this looks like uh, in the anterior chamber, resting nicely uh, next to the target tissue. Our phase 2A study is kind of an interesting design. It's uh, designed to study glaucoma patients who need to have a cataract taken out. So this allows us to insert ENV905, uh, 515, have it go for four weeks, and we get steady state release, safety, and efficacy. And that, at the time of the cataract surgery, we remove the implant, see how much drug is left, and get an aqueous humor sample for drug levels as well. So it's a very data-rich study. We're almost uh, fully enrolled in this trial, and it'll read out mid-year. Our second program, ENV905, is a biodegradable subconj formulation of diflopredinate. Again, we've, we, you understand the cataract world here where pretty much everyone gets on a topical steroid or NSAID um, post-surgery. We're trying to make this a little bit simpler where we can have a, a lower drug exposure and a three to four week uh, control over inflammation uh, and put it in the hands of the doctor and not the patient and eliminate all the hassle of drops in this situation. We study this in a model of post-cataract inflammation in rabbits where we make a corneal incision and then do a weekly paracentesis. That leads to a lot of inflammation you see on the black lines of placebo. Durazol, topically four times a day, every day, you see in blue. And then ENV905, same drug, lower dose, single dose, is as effective as topical four times a day steroids. So really nice results here. We're excited to get the IND filed later this year. Real quick, a couple things on back-of-the-eye drug delivery. Uh, we can make highly concentrated microparticles of antibodies like bevacizumab, and we can also work with micronized API of small molecules. We've tested this in rabbits and shown that it's protective in a 
VEGF challenge model and uh, also put this in monkey eyes to show they're well tolerated. Real quick now for two seconds, we are a technology development company, so we are pushing the envelope here. We're working on combination products where we can have linear co-release of two different actives over a multi-month period of time. And also, we work with nanoparticles. Obviously, we can engineer these for size and shape, but also surface charge and modulus to get different kinds of ocular residency times. And thank you very much for your attention.